Right, the million dollar question that lots of people have been asking me for the past few days. Well, it's not actually a million dollar question, it's more like 4,625 US dollars of electricity cost question per year. Why have I decided to switch off my mining rigs? Now, when it comes to mining, I've always said it and I'm continuing to believe it, that it's not about today profits, it's about what today mining will profit in the future. Uh, I've never looked into mining as of right now because I've never actually sold whatever I've mined with my mining rigs personally myself. I've never sold to cover electricity cost. I have sold portions to, you know, buy some stuff or things like this, but never to cover electricity cost. Up until now, I've always covered electricity cost um, from money that I earn uh, outside of my mining, aside of crypto up until now however looking at the current numbers it simply does not make sense personally for me i know everyone is different and i do understand that lots of you will continue to mine despite how much you're paying for electricity cost at the moment but myself personally i think um why continue to mine especially in these hot summer days and months yeah summer is finished but it's still quite hot um, spending so much money for electricity and earning so much uh, in profits uh, when i'm actually bringing the money from outside mining i mean i might as well turn off the the, the mining rig off find this uh, 500 uh, us dollars anyway that usually i would find or okay it will be around 400 dollars per month that i'll usually need to find buy my for example, my Ethereum and do the pretty much the exact same thing. Yes, when you're mining, if all of a sudden the price pick up, but I'm not a trader. I mean, I am trading. You, you follow me. I do a little bit of trading, but with mining profits, I don't trade. I just keep them aside. So I don't use this to speculate, to trade and try to make them more. And I've decided, you know, why kill my mining rigs? Because what you have to remember is this mining rigs can't run forever uh, the cards sooner or later is going to start breaking funds going to start breaking wherever and i'm killing them to make 112 us dollars and the reason i say 112 is because the 380 i'm bringing it from outside but i'm actually you know speculating that the price is going to go up i believe it's going to go up but i don't know exactly when when i'm going to sell and whatnot and it simply does not make any sense so i've decided it's time for me to turn off the mining bricks especially now uh, what i'm gonna do probably is very likely that i'm gonna actually turn on the mining rigs when the winter months come along simply because you're spending a lot of money to heat where you live in anyway so i might as well use the mining rigs for the heating it's gonna cost a little bit more obviously than a standard air conditioning or whatever but I'm also going to be making money at the same time. But at the moment, it is boiling hot. I'm paying a lot of money for electricity and I don't want to give all this money to, uh, it, you know, the electric companies, uh, you know, to fill up their pockets um, for me to make just that little bit. Because when it comes to mining, you have to remember there's two options. One is to sell some of your portions of mining to cover electricity costs, which I know a lot of people are doing it. And then whatever is left, keeping it in the hopes of obviously uh, the um, you know the prices uh, increases of whatever you're mining or the other uh, way it's what I've been doing up until now it's uh, you know just pay everything the electricity cost from outside of mining and you know just keep paying and keep, keep paying and again when the prices goes higher sell at certain point because I didn't sell like many of you in December or January or whatever when the prices was all time high to uh, gain some good profits uh, because we all hope that you know it's going to pick up even more and I believe it will but it's going to take time and um, yeah that's what I've been doing up until now but this ratio where we're seeing right now 380 dollars electricity cost versus 112 and I hate looking at um, cryptocurrency as fiat but unfortunately when it comes to mining you have to you know it, it is wrong not to because at the end of the day we are paying this money for electricity and i said preserve the life of my uh, machines 
I'm not, I'm not planning to sell them, not one bit. I'm gonna just clean them up. I'm gonna prepare them for the winter months. Or obviously, if all of a sudden tomorrow I wake up and the prices are picking up and everything is looking much healthier, I will turn them on because I have decided that from now on, I've been mining uh, since last year, I believe I started um, April, May, don't remember. So I've been quite some time. So I, I believe I've made my money back. Obviously prices need to increase. And once I sell, I can recover the cost I've spent for my machines. So I'm, I'm good on that part, but I've decided, so I've decided from now on, I'm not gonna bring money from outside in order for me to mine. I think it's only fair, first thing for myself again, is to, uh, when I'm mining, to sell a little bit of it, cover the electricity cost, and then obviously keep the rest. But with this uh, ratio right here that I'm looking, it's not worth it for me. Um, so I've decided on uh, uh, turn off the machines. Uh, by what I'm gonna do is because I'm still earning uh, obviously money, work that I'm doing and whatnot. I'm gonna still invest into cryptocurrency, but I'm just gonna buy directly so my machines don't age in terms of obviously the work they are doing. They are aging because obviously the cars are getting older and older, but they're not aging in terms of the work they're doing. And I'm still gonna be pretty much, if I'm putting the, let's say $400 every month towards buying straight the crypto, I pretty much will probably end up uh, having the same amount of crypto anyway, unless obviously, you know, I wait now one month, I get $400, but then Ethereum is double the price then, you know, I won't be able to buy the same amount, uh, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. And this is what, what I'm planning personally to do is, uh, um, if I'm gonna be buying it, uh, not to buy in one go, but DCA, uh, so I'm gonna buy in steps. So maybe next week I'm gonna spend $100, buy something, it doesn't mean it has to be Ethereum, it could be another cryptocurrency, maybe Bitcoin and so on. And, and, and every week, or maybe I just wait and see when the price has gone down a little bit, you get what I'm trying to say. So that's the main reason I've decided guys to turn off my mining rigs. I'm pretty sure many of you are gonna continue to mine and I'm pretty sure lots of you are gonna continue to pay for everything that you mine from money that you're earning somewhere else because you don't wanna sell, that's the thing. Lots of people don't wanna sell when the prices are that low. But if you're not prepared to sell when the prices are that low and you're bringing the money from outside, to me personally, why are you even wasting the machines away? Why don't you just buy the crypto um, if you're bringing the money outside? But then again, some people just prefer obviously because yes, it is easier. Uh, just, you know, the machines are working, your electricity bill comes along, you just pay it and that's it rather than putting money into your account, buying uh, with fiat and whatnot. It could get a little bit more complicated, whatever but that's personally for me what I'm doing. Nothing, nothing else. It, it, it's not a rocket science and it's taking too long, although it's not a rocket science for me to make this video, but why not? It's been so long since I made videos, so I might as well just talk about it. I'm definitely bullish. I hate using these things, bullish and bears, to be honest with you. Um, but I, I'm definitely a firm believer in cryptocurrency. The future is definitely within cryptocurrency at least for myself and many others. And I'm continuing investing into cryptocurrency. I'm gonna to continue to mine uh, as soon as it makes more sense to obviously waste, the, you know, to use the machines. And I'm gonna to continue to trade and whatever else, everything involved with cryptocurrency uh, that I've been doing up until now, I'm gonna to continue to do it. And hopefully we're all gonna be very successful and achieve our goals. Let me know, are you in the same boat as me? Have you decided to turn off your machines? Are you still mining? How are you paying for your electricity cost? I hope you're not gonna say that you are paying from the profits that you're making because earning $1,360 per year versus paying $4,625, it simply does not make sense. And I hope you're not doing it because that's how rich are getting richer and in a way poor are getting poorer because we are filling up the pockets of these people at least that's how i see it and at the same time we are barely making anything that's it for me guys nothing else to say in here i will keep you updated i'll let you know if i decide to turn the rigs back on um let me know what you're mining it, it been it been it's been quite some time since i've been in the scene 
if I may be missing something and I would love to hear from you and as always learn from you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to try to make more regular videos. So if you enjoyed this one, feel free to subscribe and share. Come follow me on Twitter. I'm quite active down there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.